I didn't think that I had anyone to talk to about what was going on in my life, all the bad things, all the feelings I had for myself, just normal teenage feelings. So I just met someone online that I didn't know, and he said that basically the grass was greener on his side. I first met him on one of the private chat rooms where you just talk to like so many people and then I would make my own and then we talk from there and that progressed for about a month. Well I, I knew from the start that he was how old he was. I just I didn't even think that we'd have a relationship. He was like a stranger and you can tell stranger things that you're never gonna meet. Stuff that you couldn't tell your friends. He was saying you're not worthless. You know you can come over here I'll take care of you until you can, you know, basically take care of yourself and you won't have to deal with that anymore. And I just thought that was so much better than staying where I was. The second time I ran away, it was, I didn't want to, but I knew if I didn't, there might be like a little more trouble because he came to my house and I, and I get this call from someone else that he talked to online and she said that he was outside waiting for me told my mom I was gonna go out for a walk for a little while and then I took off. I would rather have went to my friends, which would have accepted because they I didn't know at the time that most of them were going through the same thing I was. I was gone for, it was about two days and they caught us at another bus terminal. They finally charged him with taking a minor over state lines and he's right now setting in prison. It was scary because he called me because then he knew where I live. He knew what my phone number was. So when he gets out of prison, he could just call me right back again and start this all over again. Well, he said he'd done it before, but he never got caught. So the only thing that's in my mind is where are they at? Where were the past people that he's met before? If you say that it's not going to happen to you and you keep progressing more and more, then it's eventually going to happen to you whether you want it to or not because you never know who that person is or what that person's capable capable of because he could one day just show up or he or she show up at your doorstep just waiting for you. When you're getting over your head, you're thinking, oh no, my parents will know what I'm doing. I, I can't tell them. They'll get mad. I'll get in trouble. Well, don't think of it like that. Think of it as if you keep talking to this person over the internet, you don't know what they're capable of. Yeah, there, there has been different scenarios played in my mind of what happened and what could have happened and the one that did happen. I was lucky that I'm not dead on the side of the road right now, six feet under. That's how I feel about it. I can't believe I did this. Why did I do that for? It's all these things. It's, it was like a fairy tale that never happened. It's very scary.